Mendocino County, California. Boutique wineries, microbreweries, and champagne cellars in this county north of San Francisco, soaring ancient redwoods in the Northern California mountains, and the cool waters of the vast Pacific beckon you to visit. Have fun paddleboarding, kayaking the coast, sailing on the open waters, fishing in mountain streams, mountain biking on coastal and inland trails. This is Spotlight on Mendocino County. Today's show was filmed in a Mendocino preferred vacation home that sits high above the jagged rocks and crashing surf below. In the spotlight today are Mendocino preferred vacation homes, Elk Cove Inn and Spa, Denon's Victorian Farmhouse, visit Mendocino County, the Beachcomber, Surf and Sand Lodge, and the Beach House Inn. First up is Pam Amante. Thank you, Pam, for being with us. And I am really fascinated by your places. They're all right on the beach in Fort Bragg. And I love going there. The Beachcomber has been in my family 40 years. 20 years I've been there myself running uh, things. The Surf and Sand Lodge we acquired two years ago and totally different type of property. It's very nice though that the guests get to choose uh, which property they'd like to stay in based on the feelings of each one. It's very interesting, each property has its own personality. The Beach House Inn, we acquired just a month ago, that sits over on an estuary, a bird estuary. Surprisingly, right on the highway, it is very quiet. Is your place pet friendly? Yes, all, all three, three of them? all three are pet friendly. We do weddings, we have family get-togethers, reunions, people, um, they love to come. Abalone dive, they cook, parties. We have two decks at the Beachcomber and uh, people love to make arrangements for any type of family get together they might have. The entrance to the state uh, park, McCarricker, it has a parking lot right there in between the two properties. So people park there and get out into the state park reach the ocean. And you have fireplaces in your rooms? Yes, we have some fireplaces, some spas, hot tubs, jacuzzis. We have kitchens. We have four little kitchens. So a family they can come and stay there for a mm -hmm. week or longer and, mm -hmm. and cook right there and it's great. walk on the beach. They can get yeah. their own crabs and fish. And great fun. Beautiful. Great parties. Joe Bradley, owner of Denon's Victorian Farmhouse. You have a beautiful place in Mendocino. It's actually Little River, isn't it? It's Little River. Which is right there across the street from the ocean. Mm -hmm. You have views from your rooms. Mm -hmm. You have private little cottages. We do, we have private cottages and we also have rooms and suites. And we have access to the ocean a few minutes walk from the property to an incredible secluded cove. We have a couple of acres, there's four buildings on the property, and we serve a full gourmet breakfast to each bedroom each morning. And the rooms are appointed with antiques and feather beds and um, high thread count linens and 20 weight towels. And we like to think that people are coming to our home and we treat them with that same feeling. We still handwrite our um, confirmations and we still make phone calls even on the reservations that are made, you know, online. It's a small intimate inn and it caters to people who are running away from home. Sometimes families, um, but it's usually smaller groups. We do small intimate weddings and elopements and re vow renewals as opposed to the great big elaborate ones, which we couldn't fit there. And then we get the people who are just running away from home with, by themselves. They're looking for decompression and they want to be with nature and they want to be alone. I don't know everything, but I usually like to pride myself in that if I don't know it, I'll go find it out. I can do vegan, I can do raw vegan, we do gluten free, lactose free, any combination of all of the above. My thinking on it is you're there to 
cater. Cater to them and invite them into your home. Hey, now I'd like to introduce you. You own Mendocino Preferred Vacation Homes. Mm -hmm. Vacation rentals are, are becoming more and more of a thing to be reckoned with in the lodging industry. There are a lot of vacation rentals here, especially on the coast. There are some in Willits and Ukiah and in Anderson Valley, but for the most part, they are generally around Mendocino, from Albion to Mendocino to Fort Bragg and on up to even as far as Westport. Vacation rental by owner. For Mendocino County, there are probably 350. Uh, and HomeAway, which is another very important uh, uh, booking agency, there are 330. Flipkey has 120. Well, we're a force to be reckoned with in the lodging industry. This house is a very popular one. It's only good for two people. There's just one bedroom in this whole house. It's right on the ocean. Yeah, uh, but we have other houses that are three bedrooms, uh, two, three, four bedrooms, or we have suites. Uh, so we have something for everybody. A young German woman, Hildren, uh, was driving by and saw it and thought it would be perfect for a true European style B&B. So she purchased it and she was there many years. She raised her girls there. I we have a room, Molly's Garden. Well. Yes, yes. <laughs> and um, Elaine purchased the inn in the 90s and made um, several improvements but kept the original uh, mansion very uh, traditional and charming. And then she added the spa and the other little... Um, we have a suites set. building with yes. uh, four suites and she also did add a European day spa. We do a lot of uh, wonderful body treatments. There's steam and sauna as well. And you do quite a lot of weddings there. We do and uh, that's something I'm particularly proud of. Uh, and we do anything from a two-person elopement to uh, families that rent the entire inn. And those are very fun. Uh, you see sometimes uh, two families that don't know much about each other come from mm -hmm. completely different religious backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds, and they get to the inn. And of course, first they're blown away by the views, and they talk about that. And then they sit down at our two happy two hours in the afternoon where we do complimentary cocktails and wine, and the wine starts flowing, and the conversation starts flowing, and they come together, the two families. And it's lovely to see. And you two are right down the street from restaurants where people do not have to drive. And that's very good follow-up to the happy two hours, because we don't want to see them mm -hmm. uh, drinking too much <laughs> and then having to drive. So no, they can actually walk. And we have a lovely walk along the headlands that can get them into town. And then they can, of course, walk along the road coming back, and we always provide flashlights. Upon arrival, uh, they get a lovely little gift basket with two enormous homemade cookies, popcorn, wine, and fruit, so we like to start them off that way. Then they usually move on to happy two hours. Then in the morning, we're sort of known for our southern hospitality, as Elaine is from Alabama, a uh, huge breakfast buffet. There are usually 20 plus different dishes on it. Oh there are gluten-free options, dairy-free options, vegan, vegetarian, you name it. And of course, complimentary champagne. And you have the beach right there, don't you? We do. We have direct beach access, which is a great feature of the property. We have a small staircase with about six steps, and it hits the path that takes you directly down to the Greenwood State Beach. There is kayaking. Um, also nearby, there's beach uh, horseback riding, which is uh, always fun. People see it in the movies and want to try it, or rides through the redwoods. So it's really a, a nice destination place. It's right great. There. In fact, Park that's your car. yes, and you can you can walk to many things, but also we're within a 30, 40 minute drive of the wine country, Point Arena Lighthouse the Stornetta Lands, and then of course Mendocino is a short drive, as is Fort Bragg. So we're sort of central actually. Are you pet friendly at your place? 
Actually, we became pet friendly just this year. We put in two new rooms in our carriage house building. One is a suite with ocean view, the other is garden view, budget friendly. And then we also have one of our cottages pet friendly. And it's just great. Our canine guests have been nothing but joy. Uh, very well behaved. Um, they have great access down to the beach to walk their dogs right on the beach, which the guests love. What about children? We do take children. Of course, um, some of the rooms are suited better to children, uh, but we do have several rooms that have twin pullouts or queen pullouts, and uh, we just ask that they behave well. Our job is at Mendocino County. We are the official uh, countywide tourism destination marketing group uh, and our job is really to keep Mendocino County in the conversation. Um, there's a lot of other beautiful places to visit uh, certainly in Northern California and throughout the state and actually throughout the country um, and we work uh, with many other organizations uh, a lot of businesses throughout the county um, to talk about all the great things that are to see and do the great places to stay uh, restaurants wineries um, all the things that make us special. You also promote things like the Mendocino Music Festival or the Film Festival. We don't provide funding assistance to these organizations, but we certainly provide marketing assistance. Just as Visit California has a louder voice than we do when it promotes California, we have a louder voice than a lot of these smaller organizations. We can't do it alone, um, and the people you know surrounding me here are, are great partners, as well as you know hundreds of other businesses, wineries and restaurants and arts organizations and, and other lodging. Uh, they all do such a fabulous job um, of helping to tell our, our story. And it is a very diverse story. We're a big county with a lot of different things going on. Different regions um, offer different types of experiences. You know, it's not the inland or the coast or Anderson Valley versus, you know, 101 wine regions. We all have something different to offer and something special. You've heard about a lot of the different great places to stay, uh, mostly on the coast. Um, we do have a whole inland part of the county. Uh, a lot of the, the chain hotels are out there, um, but it's a great way to experience wine country and the redwoods. You know, Mendocino County is it's not that far from the Bay Area. You drive through, you know, beautiful wine country, uh, just, you know, if you're coming from the Bay Area, you drive through Sonoma County um, and the busy roads and the busy uh, wine country that you have there. And, and I, you know, I don't think it's just me. I, I think I hear from people all the time, as soon as you cross the Mendocino County line, everything changes. The road mm -hmm. get better. The roads get better for <laughs> sure. Um, but there's just a different feel. You know, you can, it's kind of, you can take a deep breath. We, you know, we really, uh, you know, Mendocino County, again, it's, it's where wine country kind of stops going north. It's where the big redwood forests start. Uh, we're on the southern end of that. And of course, we have the beautiful coastline. And, you know, we have a little bit of everything. We have the botanical gardens, which for the longest time was the only botanical gardens in this country that went to the ocean. Now there's one mm -hmm. more. But we haven't touched on the parks. We have more parkland than any other county mm -hmm. in the state of California. This county is half the size of the state of Vermont, and we only have four cities. Everything else is unincorporated, real people living, taking care of one another. My favorite spot is smack in the middle of the county. It's called Montgomery Woods State Preserve. Oh, and if you ever want to go to church without being in a building, that's where you go, and I don't care what church you go to. I agree. It is absolutely phenomenal. People can find whatever they want to do, mm -hmm. they can find it in this county. Everyone in the family or the group or whoever is coming, can, you can be sure that they can find the one most important thing to them to do. We it's have there. it here. We have it here. I always tell our guests, they ask me my story, how did you end up here in this little tiny town of Elk? And I say, well, be careful. I was like you. I came, and it's honestly, that's how it happened. We came on vacation because of seeing things like what you do and staying at places like you all have, vacation rentals we did, and it became our goal to move here permanently. Other areas of the county have really blossomed. You know, Ukiah is mm -hmm. the county seat, and uh, the outdoor dining scene is, is exploding out there. Mm -hmm. There's new restaurants, Boonville, the which is in Anderson in Valley. Ukiah. Boonville um, has changed. Yeah, so much. great new Gorgeous. restaurants and <coughs> tasting rooms popping up all the time, and um, it's it's um 
It's happening. Exciting. Well-known wineries in Napa and Sonoma, they get their grapes from up here. Or the growing region mm -hmm. here is ideal um, for a lot of different varietals of grapes. And um, the, the growers here do a fabulous job. And obviously the wineries that are here do a great job of making it. And we're spoiled. We are certainly spoiled. I love that we have no traffic and clean air. Mm -hmm. yes. oh, Being yeah. on the great, uh, the great North Coast. And the mighty Pacific, you can never get any cleaner air. Even though it's diverse, when something threatens the area, everybody comes together yes. like white on rice. Where else can you be that we don't have oil rigs because the whole community went and right. protected it? Mm -hmm. We have Big River, which was all set to be logged off and the, the company that owned it started pulling permits and everybody in the neighborhood went nuts and a year later we bought it and it is now part of our Headland State Park and we we still do things as a community here for the community and for going forward. Mm -hmm.